excuse me. What's up everybody and welcome back to another video or welcome to just a video depending on whether you've been watching this series of uh, videos or not. Uh, my name is Renardo, you guys can call me Reanimations and this is a long series of tutorials, well not tutorials but uh, more like long series of videos where I just go about drawing like uh, poses, figure drawings and in one minute. I'm like all caught up in my words. It's probably because I didn't practice. That's something you should do every time that you do a video practice. <clears throat> so, kind of like this is a warm up of the day. You get started by going to, in my case, the line of action website. Uh, and then after I pick out whatever I want. Usually I pick out both female and male. But I think last. Uh, Yesterday I picked up only women, and today I'm only gonna pick up men. That sounds weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, pick women, and today I'm only picking men to see, and then you know, juice their pulses. Uh, anyways, let's get started with that. Uh, usually I will have a timer, but this obviously has its own uh, personal timer. I'll leave a description. Uh, um, a link or something in the description below for this website if you guys want to check it out and let's get started oh I think I've done this one before uh, and like a different drawing Trying to wrap up the pose. Let's see if I can get it. Almost looks like he's doing the Spider Man thing. I think I did the Spider Man hand in one of my other videos uh, recently. Uh, see that, that, that. Oh, same model. Uh, got a little bit less time for this one. Model. Let me move my headset thing down so you guys can hear my voice a little bit clearer. Sorry if I sound kind of weird. Cause... Uh, let's see this. Line of action will be kind of like this. This will get split right there. That will go straight this way. And then right here will be kind of like that. And expose. I can't really tell where the, uh, this arm was going to be at, so I'm just going to put it down. Uh, this one's kind of uh, interesting, it's, it's like this, and if we take this, uh, the split uh, the split lines or something like that, it will be ten uh, usually opposite directions, so this one will be like that, and that one will be like this, uh, maybe I shouldn't put it too high, right like there, and it goes up, this one goes just straight across, not too straight across, but like up to there, uh, it gets cut off. And charcoals to indicate the leg rotation. Oh, I think it was this. Uh, interesting. It's instantly, I can see this uh, line right here. Uh, interestingly, right? Sometimes you could see it clear. Uh, 
the lines of actions and sometimes you can't this one's pretty easy to uh, break down See that is a total of four pulses. Ooh, we're in the right track. Fifth pulse right here. This one's gonna be like if you draw a triangle, because that's where the legs are gonna be at. Leg, leg, uh, knee, knee. Uh, the butt is like somewhere off here. It gets split somewhere there. Uh, this body is more, more inwards, just like this. That's a great right there. Uh, shoulders. They're going downwards and then up. And then downwards and up also. And then right here, it gets all cluttered up. Because that's where the hands are going to be at. I'm not sure how to indicate the hands other than doing that. Okay, now we are in the six pose. No, yeah, six pose. Ooh, ninja. But this, you know, you could tell that this guy was just doing it on the floor. He wasn't doing this on the wall. But because he put the camera like that, it actually kind of gives like a solid line for. Uh, it kind of like, it makes it look like he's climbing up the wall. Should be right here. This leg goes up, like this, and then goes down, and then it's off something like that. This leg goes down, like that, and then that's the same thing. So as you can tell, what is going on, I'm gonna draw like a straight line. Uh, I think I've done this pose before. Yeah, I definitely feel like I have. Uh, I, I said last time for this one, it's not fully nude, so I guess that's a perk. But at the same time, it's the same thing. It's like if I was to take this same pose with a woman, it would be considered nude because they're showing breasts. down at the basic shapes and this goes like run up and a straight is more like that and then that because that covers up all the crotch area right here and this gets covered and this gets covered there and then the legs will be kind of like this what else what's the next pose I'm pressing space to move around if you guys don't know. Uh, I'm assuming for this one I could do the, the expression that he's trying to do. Like, ooh, there's treasure! And just do a quick treasure box. the top is open change the part <laughs> since I did the uh, the treasure box I didn't get time to do everything else. Okay, a uh, quick kick. Uh, 
leg goes like this and then just wrap like that and then boom and it kind of does this sort of shape and then in then out then down and then it goes around like this wraps the straight line uh, just as an indicator what a straight line would be and you know, just block it out the head be kind of facing this way uh, I think it was more like this I'm not 100% sure though it's more like that line of action wise Okay, uh, this is the last pose. I've done this one before, so you, you guys probably have seen me do this one. Uh, my head is kind of itchy. <sighs> Can't wait to, you know, change out of, uh, change, and then get ready for the day. Since I'm doing this pretty uh, well, kind of early. Not too early though. Uh, and I should. I probably had to like erase all this. Ah, pause it. Pause. Okay. Uh, cause obviously didn't really have the ten. Eh, the one minute. Uh. I'm so tired. <sighs> Just as I had up to you guys. Do not go to sleep at 4 o'clock in the morning. You wake up pretty late, and then you end up being very tired for the day. That's what I did. Because I, cause I used up most of the energy I had yesterday. Okay, I'm going to pause this one. And like I know in the last one, I did a bonus sketch. This time around, I will not be doing a bonus sketch. But I will be zooming into this because I don't like the idea of uh, going out of bounds. Okay. Let's see, if we were to analyze this pose really quickly, it would be, let's see, a rectangle, kind of like this, going in this direction, right? And then, if you cut off that rectangle, it would do that shape. Right here would be the muscle. This would be the other muscle right here. Uh, right here would be the pecs. Just going in an angle. Uh, This pex will, it will wrinkle up right here and then it will wrap around like that. Uh, right, and right up here is the triangle. Right? Because uh, the neck goes right in that triangle and right here will be the V for, uh, for, uh, and then it will split. This will be where the chest area is at. And the abs tend to be twisting a little so it will be kind of like this. So, if we do that twist, everything, and then right here, you can see a clear line of the belt area and stuff like that. We're trying to use this last drawing as a, not just a one minute drawing, but, well, I'm trying to use this as a way to understand the pose a little bit better. Break it down into shapes, not just lines of actions. Uh, what else? The hand has to go a little bit higher. And this one uh, and I guess the hands up down here that would make sense because what we're trying to do is like let's say we take a straight line right here and then we're gonna take this straight line right which is what I'm gonna do and I take it and then rotate it and then just put it into place right and then I'm just gonna scale it down a little because we don't need it to be too big and then we're gonna place it there if we take that same line and we have duplicated it uh, we would get the overall shape of the axe see I erased that portion right there axe will be kind of this angle and then it goes down and then goes wrapped around like that. Uh, this portion is going to be like that. 
you can see part of the bottom this part that portion just wraps like that and then this portion like this and just like that we can have the, uh, the look of an axe it's not perfect in the slightest but we can get the idea of him holding an axe a giant axe or something now his body is twisting this direction so like if we were to put the waist somewhere here it would be kind of angled like that and then this leg is like this so if we were to go with the same sort of angle uh, we can kind of divide it like that leg will be up to there this other leg will be up to here this leg will be there this leg will be further down but right here muscle the head it will be a very simple shape we could do the rectangle that one doesn't indicate any direction unless you give it some direction he's slightly looking down so it'll be kind of like that and then this this one like usually we get taught to do either circles or triangles i like to do circles and a triangle sometimes to indicate this sort of shape and then the rectangle there. but when it's from heads on it's just a really wide rectangle and then block it out with that little squarish rectangle area no not rectangle triangle triangle because it just meets like right there triangle with the rectangle right there and voila you got the post uh, that you wanted you could break it down into simple shapes or you could break it down into lines of actions like this one's up here which some of them look kind of cool this one looks really interesting i just like it so much uh okay now let's do what we normally do let's do the final review which ones are good which ones are bad and then i'll just let you guys go for and so you guys could get back to watching more videos on YouTube or just go on your merry way. I don't know. Uh, like usual, it's just pick a different color. Uh, pick this brush right here because I like it. And I'll go with the red because you see the red is the one that indicates it better. Okay, add a new layer. Because I don't want to erase anything. Like right now I'm an eraser. I don't want to erase anything. Okay, which ones I did right, which ones I didn't. This one not finished obviously this one I did right this one looks fine that one looks somewhat fine because I didn't get this uh, this leg completely done but the gesture is there so that's a plus this one is lacking so much so I'm just gonna block it like stop it this one I didn't get done with the hand right there but overall you can still see the pulse you can see the gesture you get the idea so Overall, like usual, two uh, two of them out of ten are not good. And you know we could go about why they're not good. I could tell you which ones are good, and that's also up to you guys to decide. Like if you guys fi uh, find some that I think they're good, but you guys think they are not good, just let me know. Leave it in the comments. Or just uh, join me with this drawing session every uh, every day or every week or something like that, depending on how you want to approach it. And, you know, just se uh, send me a link to your video. Not not to any other thing, just a link to your video on YouTube or another website, I don't know. Anyways, have a good one. Thank you for watching. A video above me will be the last drawing session. And right here will be my channel if you want to uh, check it out right next to this blue thing i don't know why is this so close to me um yeah have a good one peace